Okay, Proverbs 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Now we know, you know, Solomon had his issues. Oh, that's and, being kind. You know, <clears throat> you know, I, you know, it seems like a portion of his writings seem contradictory. To his lifestyle. To his, yes. Um, but I think in, in the end, you know, he finally came back around and, you know, um, this, some of his writings seem kind of, kind of weird. Um, Give me a couple of them. But the wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. You know, what's that mean? It doesn't take much to scare the wicked. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think when, you know, when we're not, we're not, when we are not right with God, We're always running from That's something, true. you know. That's true. Mm -hmm. Even if nobody's chasing us, we're still running mm -hmm. from what? Ourselves. Ourselves, running from God. Um, um, you know, we're we're running. What are we running from? Like you just said, from ourselves. From God. From God. Maybe uh, maybe our our maybe our prayer life was isn't what it mm -hmm. should be. Maybe we our our communication with God, our communion with God, our just our pondering with God. It's not where we know it should be. Um, maybe we allow ourselves just to get so busy that I'll get to God later. And then and I'll wait. Before we know it, the day's gone and you know, we'll get to God tomorrow. And you know, and before we know it, a week's gone by or a month's gone by. A year. You know, heaven forbid. But, uh, or maybe, you know, not in this household, but maybe somebody stole something. Nobody saw them. Maybe somebody snitched a piece of candy off the store shelf. Nobody saw them. What are they running from? What are they scared of? They're scared of being caught. Um, nobody saw them. But, but we know who did see, right? God. You know, I, you know, thank God that he put within us a conscience. You know, we can, we can decipher between right and wrong. But when, you know, the, the wicked flee when no man pursueth. You know, even if we think we're not caught. You know, we're running. We're running from, from something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to dodge somebody we've wronged, you know, or, or something like that. Somebody we're trying to avoid. Um, if, our, if our relationship with God's not where it's supposed to be, you know, kind of... Uh, Maybe liken it to uh, Adam and Eve after they uh, committed the sin. God came in the garden and coming through and Adam, where are you? He was hiding. He was well, hiding. God knew. The, our, our conscience, our conscience will, 
if we're truly seeking God, you know, our conscience will, will steer us right. Um, well, there is another verse I wanted to read. Verse 9, He that turneth away his ears from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Mm -hmm. Read that again. Uh, verse 9, still in chapter 28, verse 9, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. But our prayers, you know, if we're not, if we're not seeking God, if we're not living for God, if we're just, if we are the, if we are the, uh, We are the what? Need to be careful. If we are Sunday Christians, Saturday Sunday. Yeah, if we're you know Sunday Christians, self-proclaimed Christian, uh, self-proclaimed child of God. Christians um, by name only. Christian by name only. How, however, we want to say it. I don't know the the correct way to say it, um, but, you know, if we are, are praying and we're not listening to God, you know, if we not, are not following his word, it's an abomination, you know, um, they're trying to put on a good front, you know, even, I guess, even if you are dedicated sincere sincere dedicated to church but you are not dedicated to God mm -hmm. um, or even if you think you're dedicated to God but you are keeping certain things at arm's length um, you know even even our prayers are um, even his prayer shall be an abomination. An abomination is pretty bad, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's <laughs> probably that's, about that's, the worst you can get. Pretty bad. Um, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Yes. And yes, we, we don't live under the law. But we still live under, you know, God's authority. That's right. You know, that's we do. So that's that's, that's pretty pretty basic there. He that turneth away his ear from the hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So let's listen to God. Amen. You know, it's just simple as that. We need to listen to God. When he whispers and when he screams. We need to listen. So our prayers are not an abomination. Bad stuff. Let's pray. Father, we love and praise you today. And we thank you so much for your goodness, Lord. And yeah, Father, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be running away from you, God. Um, I don't want to be running away from, from whatever. You know, Father, I want to be, I want to be close to you, Lord. Father, I, I surely don't want my prayers to be an abomination. Father, I want to be, have my spiritual ears open to you, Lord, and my physical ears open to, you know, uh, just good, sound word. Father, we just uh, we give you the praise and honor. And we just love you so much today. In your high name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.